Having been around cars for a long time, you know, you get to a point where you think you've seen everything and done everything, but, you know, then a product like uh, this Evans waterless coolant comes along and makes you rethink some of the stuff you've always thought to be the truth. Absolutely. Uh, Evans, I hadn't heard it until you brought it to my attention, and after doing some research, I'm a huge fan of the product because for what I do, restorations on on classics, uh, 60s and 70s cars, and uh, the customers that I deal with are high-end customers that want longevity and durability and reliability of their product and investment for the money that they put into the car. <laughs> By far, this is the best thing you could buy for your cooling system. So it's also, it's not only a, a good solution for a long-term coolant because it will last a lifetime, but it, it also protects everything else that you've got into your car. So, you know, things like those aluminum parts are not going to corrode and, and you're not going to have to worry about the solution becoming acidic over time. Correct. Evans doesn't break down. It's a waterless product, so there's no corrosives to break down. And it's very friendly to all metals. And uh, that's one of the benefits of it is that it's a lifetime coolant. You can drain it out, put it right back in again. Cool. You can use it over and over and over and over again. One time install. The, the biggest process is to neutralize the cooling system. And that's to eliminate the coolant that's in the system now. So I've already drained the cooling system. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through and secure everything. And I'm going to uh, add the uh, flushing component to it. And we're going to run, run the car up to operating temperature, which takes about 10 minutes. And then we're going to drain the flushing agent out. So the prep fluid then actually encapsulates the water, any water remaining after the first drain. Right, so then it's gonna put the block into a, a virgin condition to where we can add the coolant and get to our 3%. Yep. And we'll show how to flush the heater core out and, and safely do that. So the easiest way to do that is to remove the heater hoses. And what I've done is and turned the shop air down to 20 PSI. And the reason why I did that is because if I went into this car with 120 PSI of shop air, it'll just blow the heater core apart. Okay. And then I'll be putting a heater core in the AC truck then you, car. Then I, you will be going. Dirty. Yeah, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is I'll go past the water control valve on this, and I'm going to inlet to the heater core, and then um, I'm going to disconnect the um, hose at the water pump, which is the uh, outlet of the heater core into the water pump, and then I'm going to extend the hose into the bucket here, and then we're going to just run 20 PSI of shop air into the through the heater core and we're going to let it run for i don't know four Got five that. six minutes so what the flushing agent uh, co or component does is it helps capture the water that's in the cooling system now that we haven't been able to drain out or blow out and it's going to uh neutralize the water bring it out with the flushing agent so then it's going to put the block into a, a virgin condition to where we can add the coolant and get to our three percent well i'm anxious to get started okay let's get let's it on. do it